Hello, welcome back to the workshop. Fantastic to have you here again today. So today is day three of the March Evolution of Tool Making class. Really looking forward to this. Lots of sledgehammer swinging, lots of team striking, and I think you're going to really enjoy this video. Thank you. So today is day four of the evolution of tool making class and it's usually around this point that my voice starts to go and oh my goodness my voice is gone this is painful anyway today's gonna be a really fun day because everybody's gonna be making hammers gonna be lots of fun they get to put to use all of the great tools that they've been making up to now oh my goodness I have not spoken yet today I woke up come straight here first thing I speak to is this camera my voice, holy moly, ow, golly. And there was this small sliver of steel that was just barely attached to it. I just plucked it off after the mishap. This is a prime example of why I don't harden the striking anvils, because this is an unhardened tough steel. This is EM24. Unhardened, it only just saved this chip from flying off. And that's a relatively sizable chip with the mishap. So if this is unhardened tough steel, what happens when you take a hardened steel, you do a mishap like this, then you have a serious problem. This won't stay on the tool. That'll exit the tool very fast, and that can end up in somebody's leg, somebody's eye, other parts of the body. So that's why I use a soft, mild steel anvil, because normal anvils are hardened, and that hardened steel, you can take a miss hit like that on the anvil, which can happen and does happen. You'll take a chip out, and that can be very dangerous. That is also the reason that I do not harden the striking ends of my top tools. People do miss hit. It's a lot 
easier to reforge the end of a top tool than it is to go digging out a chip like this out of somebody's leg. Please do not hit harden tools. This is just a small chip, just a small chip, and it didn't leave the tool. However, if it's hardened, it doesn't want to hang on there. It doesn't want to stretch and hang on there. It really will want to leave the tool and it'll leave it fast. Don't let inexperienced strikers strike on a hard anvil. Don't, I beg of you, do not hit a hardened striking tool. On this edge here, the amount of mishits that have happened in the time that I've used this striking anvil, where people have gone to strike a top tool and they've missed and their sledges hit this. You can imagine, if this is a normal anvil and that's happening, that can be very, very problematic. Because if that was hard steel, it wouldn't just swell out like this. You'd have chips flying off right at eye level. Same over here. It can be really dangerous. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing these days of class and seeing uh, seeing the evolution of tool making class that I teach. I hope that gives a little more insight as to, as to some of the broader things that I do as a blacksmith. And I'm, I'm just so thrilled that you are all here. All of the fantastic new subscribers, thank you very much. These students did utterly fantastically. They in fact did far more than they would usually do. They made an extra hot cut hardy, they made an extra hammer, like that's great. That's, that's above and beyond what usually gets done, so I'm really, really thrilled about that. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you're new to the channel. I make videos every single day about blacksmithing and it's a massive amount of fun to have you here and hear your feedback as we go. Please do drop a like below and leave a comment. It helps more than you think. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.